Let's take a look at the various sections of the GarageBand window, starting with the timeline, which is uh, probably the area of the window where you'll be spending most of your time when working on a GarageBand project. So from the top, we have the Beat Ruler, which displays the measures in your project. And as you can see, I have the whole project displayed at this zoom level, and it goes from bar one to bar 50. And at the current zoom level, you can see bar numbers every four measures. You can also display the beat ruler in absolute time, in minutes and seconds. You can see it here. Now, displaying time in the ruler can be useful at times. For example, if you want to know how long your song is. But typically, I would say that when you're working on a song, the uh, measures display is probably more flexible. Right under the beat ruler is the cycle. And currently, it is turned on, and it's, uh, it's shown here by this yellow bar, which uh, the way it is right now, let's see, 21 to 29, we have an eight-bar section of music that will be repeated over and over when we play the sequence. And this cycle area is very useful when you want to play and work on certain sections of your project or when you want to record several passes. And we'll be covering that later on, of course. Now, the cycle area, you can click on and drag around to put it in different places. And you can also resize it by going over here. And with these little uh, resize arrows, you can just basically drag it and move it around, right? That's pretty cool. And uh, when you don't need the cycle region, all you have to do is click on this button down here. Clicking on it uh, makes the cycle region disappear. And if you click on it again, it comes back. Right under the cycle is the arrangement track where you're able to create and name various sections for your project. Typically, those would be 8 or 16 bar sections of music that you could then label accordingly. Under the Arrange track is the main area of the timeline, and this is where all of your project's regions are displayed. So we'll be looking at the various operations that you can perform on those regions, such as moving them around the timeline, and uh, trimming, splitting, joining, and copying them and pasting them elsewhere in the project. So there's quite a bit that happens in the timeline. All right, so uh, let's have a quick look now at the playhead. 